So I'm sure a lot of you guys out there have heard the term product of your environment. Now, I come from a mother who was on drugs since I was a kid. I never knew my dad. I was in special ed classes until I was in eighth grade. I was abused in foster home after foster home. Now, if I looked like my story and I was a product of my environment, I wouldn't be speaking to you guys right now. I wouldn't be an actor and I wouldn't be a motivational speaker. But I'm not a product of my environment. So we've all heard that before. But have you heard you are a product of your expectations? Go ahead. Taking it, I'll let y'all digest that for a second. You are a product of your expectation. Whatever you expect in life, that's exactly what you're gonna get. If you expect less, you look at your life, you're gonna have less. If you expect more, you look at your life, you're gonna have more. So it's very important that everybody out there, you set your expectations high. Everything about you is based off your expectations. How you value yourself, how you see yourself. If you had high expectations for yourself health-wise, you would be in shape. If you had high expectations for yourself and your scholarly work, then you would have great grades. You would have a 4.0 GPA. If you had high expectations for yourself in relationships, then you would be in the relationship you always want you would never feel like you're settling for less but you have to raise your expectations because you are an exact product of it so if you want more expect more if you want better expect better now just for clarity i'm an actor i go into every single audition expecting a book it and it doesn't happen most of the time but that does not discourage me see oftentimes if you have high expectations and you don't achieve those right away you get you get low on yourself you get discouraged as a woman. But understand something, just because you set your expectations high, you still need to have the skill, you still gotta put in the time, you still have to put in the work. So you have to have realistic expectations. Now, one thing you gotta be careful of, if your expectations don't turn out the way you want them to, at the time you expect them to, do not get deterred. Just because it doesn't happen when you want it to, that doesn't mean it won't happen at all. Sometimes, especially if you have high aspirations, if your expectations are extremely high, you have to give it time to materialize. Remember, success is attracted to the person you become. So, if your skill level, if you haven't put in the work or the time, sometimes you can have an unrealistic expectation. But if you busted your butt, and you put in the time, and you gain the necessary skills, if you set your expectations high, whatever you expect, you will most assuredly get. So I want you to take a look at your life. Take a look at where you're at, who you're with, and how you feel, and understand that you are exactly where you put yourself in most cases. Whatever your expectation was for your life and for yourself, that's exactly what you're gonna get. So if you, you're in a job that you hate, that was your expectation. You settled for less. If you're on a job that you can't stand working around people, you want to slap every five seconds. That is an expectation that you allowed yourself to have. Now, if you set your expectations higher and you expect more, you will begin to get more. But that is your Monday motivation, which is motivation for a generation in search of inspiration. So I hope you guys are really inspired. And as always, remember, you the shit. Peace.